Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and we're playing Evolved Custom Scenarios. Last time we did one by the people on my Discord server, or at least one of my viewers uh, who's on my Discord server, which is always pretty cool. So let's go back to the popular tab and see what else we've got. Oh look, the Slender Sickness is back on here. Well, isn't that fun? Uh, Rise of the Arachnids, don't let the bugs bite. Did this game reset already? I feel like it kind of did. YouTube? No, I'll go ahead and pass that. Experiment 25 sounds promising. Let's give that a shot. During the Great World War III, the U.S. and British government decided to work together to create a microscopic agent that can help fight in the war. Instead of the agent working the way they planned, the microbe killed everything it infected. All the government's gov governments and missing there decided to create a cure for this microbe. It worked, taking them 205 days to develop the cure. The cure was released, and it quickly eradicated EX-25. The populations of humans and animals regrew. There was something they didn't know in the depths, depths of the Earth. There lay 26 of X-25, quickly reproducing. 26 microbes? That's a very small, specific number, but I guess it would work eventually. The microbe waits and plans its attack. My first scenario. Hope you enjoy. It's kind of hard, kind of easy. Well, which is it? Don't try to be a boss and head straight for Brutal or Mega Brutal. Don't tell me what to do! Do you know who I am? Oh, just because of that, I'm going for freaking Mega Brutal. Catalytic Switch, Darwinist, Terracite, Extremophile, and Symptostasis. Mm, do I want Catalytic Switch? No, I'm going to go for the ATP boost. That'll be fine. Mega Brutal! You said don't be a boss? I am a boss! You are a microscopic agent rising from underground. Pick a country to infect and begin your uprise. You can use genetic drift after genetic reshuffle. Genetic drift will really come in handy. What's genetic drift? No idea. We're going to start in Saudi Arabia, though. All right. What do we got? Transmissions. I see water, fleas, dust. Worms can travel on dust particles. So is it a microbe? What qualifies as a microbe exactly? Because I always thought of it as, like, basically a single-celled organism, but this is a worm. I could be wrong in how I'm thinking about microbes. Could be wrong. Uh, let's see, we also have pigeons. Uh, let's go for the dust. My wife thinks that's hilarious. Uh, dust, and we'll go for dust level 2. Sure, why not? Lots of air transmission in arid countries, like Saudi Arabia. Pretty darn helpful. Pick that up. How much does this cost, by the way? Seven points? Eh, that's not so bad. Electricity. Worms can now withstand electric currents, allowing them to infect people who come in contact with materials powered by electricity. Which apparently is a lot of people. Because it is far more infective than the air that people breathe. But okay. Symptoms. We have the neural breach. This so far appears to be the normal, you know, thing. Trojan planes could do that early if we wanted to. Would it be so bad to get this early? I don't usually do that. We'll just focus on transmissions for the time being. Assuming it's relatively balanced, this shouldn't be too bad on Mega Brutal. It's the Nurax Worm. The Nurax Worm is super freaking easy. It's it's a joke, honestly. All right, so we have Air 2, which allows us to get into the ventilation systems and planes easily, which sounds promising to me. I need 11 DNA. Boom! I've got 11 DNA. The dust is going to make us spread actually very rapidly in places like Saudi Arabia and the surrounding uh, Middle Eastern nations. Let's go for some water. Electricity? Sure. Super freaking effective. No lethality. Not a ton of severity. This is going to help us just take freaking off. What do you mean, don't be a boss and go for Mega Brutal? So far, we're spreading incredibly quickly. My god! Let's go for water, and let's go for the Trojan Plains, the drug resistance. There we go. We got a Trojan Plane coming, though, right? Wait, where are my Trojan Plane? Usually when you get Trojan Planes, one pops up. Oi! Oi! Where's my Trojan Plane? Hey, now! You're an all-star! Get the show on! What's going on? Neural Breach, Cerebral Tendrils. Let's go for Adrenergic Constriction, Axiolytic Infusion, and Psychosis. We're reducing our severity quite a bit. Then I'll hold off on getting the adoration. There's the Trojan plane. We're going to go to Greenland. All right. Am I a boss yet, people? Am I a boss? Freaking hope so. Iran starts working on the cure. It is a little early for the cure. I will give it credit where it's due. Definitely started working faster than I expected it to under most circumstances. 
Uh, let's see, worms can now survive in processed and radiated water. That's probably good, but I don't think we need a lot of infectivity, to be honest. I'm going to go instead for a couple levels of cold resistance, and we could go for the Trojan Plains again to just bomb these things faster. Let's do that. And this will greatly increase the infectivity in a target country, which I find can be very useful situationally. It almost functions like getting uh, cold resistance or drug resistance in a single country. So if Canada's holding out on you, just send all your Trojan planes there. Bam, you win. Don't have to waste all your points on getting tons of extra stuff. It can be useful. Trojan Roamers level 2 can even do that for you. Uh, let's go for Adoration and then Devotion. And then we are waiting on the Transcendence, which is 45 DNA. So Experiment 25, turns out, is basically just your standard Durex worm. And it is outrageously freaking infective. Why did you challenge me, huh? With your with your nonsense about don't be a boss. Freaking heck, man. I'm Provis. I am the boss of Plague Inc. And now I freaking win. No healthy people left on the planet, and we've enslaved humanity. What's my score? The whole world worships Experiment 25. 144 days! That's one of the fastest ones I think I've ever done. Three stars. 171,000 points on Mega Brutal. I am the boss. And don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Freaking challenge me like that. Look what happens, man. Made a fool of yourself. I tell you what. Experiment 25. I mean, it is it is basically your standard Nurex worm. But I do like that some of the uh, spare transmissions, like dust and stuff, is pretty cool. Otherwise, though... I mean, it's just it's just a basic setup for yet another disease, and it's really just a copy of the standard Norax worm. Not nearly as creative as you want. Mostly I'm just having fun because, hey, you challenge me, this is what happens. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.